So we keep in our prayers this day Paul and Gail McKinn, Burl Ruth, Carol Leap, Chris Bayshore, Rod Spies, Bob Gregory, Lorna Fraunfelter, Eugene Moyer, Dylan McKenzie, Marissa Solar, Joan Boyd, Ann Bird, Bob Dutt, Julie, Dave, Melissa, and Ryan, Rebecca and Trinity, Julia, Joyce Sutliff, Nevin Smith, Deb and Scott Carl, uh, Robin Hayes, Denny Engel, Kathy Price, and Carol Workheiser. Worship is now virtual because of the increased numbers of the pandemic and the colder temperatures. Uh, so that will be live on Facebook at 9 o'clock on Sunday. We will then post it to YouTube noon afternoon sometime. Um, you can still do it by phone as well and get that number in the newsletter if you'd like to listen that way. Zoom Bible study next Tuesday night at 7 o'clock if you'd like to be a part of it. It's a lot of fun. Uh, if you'd like to be a part of it, just email Pastor Jen and she'll get you the link information to be a part of that. Hold an evening prayer, not tonight, but we will resume next Wednesday at 7.30 and Making Music will resume next Thursday at 6.15. If you need anything, during these difficult days, please give us a call. I know it's not the Thanksgiving everybody wants it to be, uh, but we need to get through this and we need to be safe and we need to be smart. So please be careful, stay safe, and let us know if we can help in any way. Will you join me in prayer? Thank you, gracious God, for having created us and given us to each other and the human family. Thank you for being with us in all our joys and sorrows for your comfort in our sadness, your companionship in our loneliness. Thank you for yesterday, today, and tomorrow, and for the whole of our lives. Thank you for friends, for health, and for grace. May we live thanksgiving into this and every day of our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. My text this day is the very last verse of Psalm number 7. I will give to the Lord the thanks due his righteousness and sing praise to the name of the Lord Most High. A college student on Twitter shared a pre-Thanksgiving email she and her classmates received from a professor that she had, and it's just a great example of Christ at work in our world right now. It reads as follows. Good morning. I know this has been a difficult time for a lot of you. Some of you have had COVID, some of you are currently in quarantine, and some of you may not be able to go home for Thanksgiving, as you have family members who are socially distancing. I don't want anyone to feel alone at Thanksgiving, or to miss out on a home-cooked family dinner. So I want to invite you to share my Thanksgiving dinner. I've talked with my kids, and we would be happy to make extra portions of everything and drop it by your apartment or residence, as long as it's within a 20-mile radius. Since we're all socially distancing, think about that, 20 miles. Anyway, since we're all socially distancing, we would leave it outside and not have physical contact with you. I truly want you to take me up on this offer if you're in town. As I mentioned, my kids have been socially distancing and will make the food wearing masks to reduce the likelihood of anything being spread. My younger daughter, youngest daughter is a vegan, so there'll be a vegan option as well. Check out the menu below. If you are socially distancing with a roommate or a significant other, I'd be happy to drop off two or three portions. Incredible. It appears from the poster's uh, bio that the professor was from the University of Iowa. And after the tweet went viral, people began asking, if there was a way that they could donate to help fund this generous effort. Then came the follow-up from the professor. She emailed back and said she truly does not want donations, but is blown away by the response. The post prompted others to share supportive and generous messages from their own professors, lending further credence to that idea that teachers are genuinely the best people on the planet. Most of the responses, though, were people who said that the email made them teary. It's as much needed examples of the kinds of people the world needs more of. But the truth is, 
There are a lot of people like that out there. Here's one response. My own daughter is a college student, and at any time she's been dealing with mental health struggles. Her professors have not just been accommodating, but actively and personally supportive. She's had teachers share their own experiences with her and made sure she knew she wasn't alone. She's an A student, and when her anxiety has spiked, she's been given the time and grace that she needed to work through her struggle, struggles without sacrificing her grades. She's learned that being responsible and being healthy are not mutually exclusive, and that compassion is a key component of her learning. Thank goodness for kind and generous teachers who don't need to go above and beyond their work with students in the classroom, but so often do so anyway. This kind of caring will be remembered far longer than any facts or figures and will go a long way towards building the better world we all want to live in. I'm not sure that the first Thanksgiving happened the way we like to think it happened. I do know that for all the Native American Indians, that all that they did to help the colonists in the end, they got the worst end of the deal. But giving thanks to God goes way back past the Mayflower, and it should be part of our lives each and every day. The last verse of Psalm 7 is very clear. We should give thanks to God for all the blessings we have been given. So even in this time of pandemic, I pray we will pause tomorrow and give thanks to God for the blessings we have received. In our family, it has been the tradition of Thanksgiving to go around the table and say something that you're thankful for as we pray together. We have so many things for which we can be thankful, even in this year of pandemic, when our Thanksgiving dinners might not be the same as usual, when there are empty seats or simply small intimate dinners for one or two. But let us pause and give thanks to God for the blessings we do have. And let us pause and give thanks for all those who work to keep us safe, help us to keep our health, work to bring us food, who teach the next generation the lessons of life, who serve in so many areas, all who make it possible that we might enjoy this life that we have been given. Have a blessed Thanksgiving, and please take time to give and say thanks. Will you join me in praying the prayer Jesus taught us? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious unto you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a blessed Thanksgiving. Take care. Be safe. Be well.